We're off on a trip of a lifetime to Albania and Uzbekistan and lots of places that aren't in between. Road trips in England seem to involve a little bit of this and a lot of that. And the English summer wouldn't be an English summer without a lot of this. Our second road trip took us to Plymouth and Land's End. Let's start at the end. Land's End. Land's End is the most westerly point of mainland England. These days it's quite a major tourist attraction with the pinnacle of the tourist experience being a photo taken under the signpost. Ta-da! While there being the extreme end of Cornwall, we had a Cornish pasty. Apparently these things were developed for the miners. The pastry kept the contents warm for a while and the pastry crust gave the miners something to hold on to and then throw away so they didn't consume the poisons that were on their hands from the mining work they were doing. This is the town closest to Land's End and was made famous by a few pirates in an opera. Truth is, it's a lovely town to spend an afternoon in. Stale bread, crap coffee, OK cakes. Since 1979. Here we are at the Lizard! Most southerly point in England. Lizard's Point is the most southerly point of mainland Britain. It has less tourist hype than Land's End, but it's still good to tick it off. I actually thought it was quite a good movie. Great expeditions have started at this port. Captain Cook went to New Zealand. The Mayflower. The Mayflower took the pilgrims to America and Sir Francis Drake went and beat up the Spanish all from this port. And they also make lovely fish and chips. Fish and chips in Plymouth. Helen spent some time here as a kid, so she was keen to show me the hoe and the barbican, and they were magnificent. But I would have imagined it being a bit nicer in nicer weather. The hoe. A wonderful gardening instrument. Plymouth is a great launching pad for a day trip down to Land's End and Lizard Point. I only chose to go to this place because of the name. I thought it was funny. But I gotta say, this place was awesome. And the sun's come out. The sun poked its head out and so we decided to have some Devonshire tea. Devonshire tea in Devon. And if you're wondering, they call it scones, not scones down these parts. In Devonshire, there's jam on the bottom, cream on the top. In Cornwall, as apparently it's the other way round. A debate for the ages, I'm sure. Dartmoor is where Steven Spielberg filmed the War Horse movie. It's a national park with lots of moors stretching into the horizon. And we came across these fellas. Come to Torquay, they said. It's the English Riviera, they said. I've heard of Torquay before. 
It pops up on English television from time to time as a holiday destination. In fact, it markets itself as the English Riviera. But unfortunately, we didn't have the best weather. It's a good day to be a duck. I hadn't heard of this place before, but I thought I'd drop by. And again, this would have been a nice place on a nice day. A lot of us will trace some kind of ancestry back to England. They say the sun never set on their empire back in the day, and so their genes were spread widely across the globe. I thought I'd check out a spot significant to my genealogy. It felt kind of weird. It's kind of weird to think that my great-grandfather was born in this tiny little town uh, 170 years ago. It's weird, because I have no connection to it, but I do. Please like and subscribe.